Los Angeles. This is Naomi Elizabeth. I love you. God sent me here to walk you. He gave me a job to do. He told me, girl, you have to show them the way I do things here in heaven. God sent me here to rock you all and fill this building up with gospel. He told me, girl, to stay a little while and show them all my style. Hot like the choppy, 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 hot like the choppy. Hello and welcome to Staples. Oh, sorry, Are we Shadow. recording? I hit him. Yes, we're recording. Welcome to the Safe Girls episode. We just finished a little dancing to the lip sync. That was some good lip syncing. That was. Okay. First queen up. Shadow. 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 Nope. Shadow. No. Okay. Oh. Oh my gosh. Miss Trash you Muffin. Your or Muffin That Is Trash. Okay. Now you had the theme of child corruption, or corruption of childhood, and you were a teddy bear. Now this was a very polarizing look here in the finish line. Alice, I believe, loved it. Andrew loved it. And I was um, a little different. I have a different opinion. The pants were kind of boring, they didn't really add anything, or they didn't, they kind of took away sort of the magic for me. Uh, the top was okay, the weathering on it could have been played up. Um, That's the page! Oh wait, no, this is a different person. See, the reason why I'm always flipping through is because I want to make sure it's the right person. Shut when I'm giving up. critiques. Shut the fuck up. Trash muffin, teddy bear. I absolutely love the teddy bear hat that you had on. 
I thought it was probably one of the better parts of the outfit. I enjoyed every part of this look besides the murderous part. I don't really care much for the makeup, but it does remind me of John Wayne Gacy. The colors, maybe that's what it is. But besides that, I don't really care for it. It's a bit sloppy and not really thought out in my opinion. But that could just be me. I think that's a I real machete. I think it actually just was you. Oh, it really was week. just me this week. I think that's a real machete, so be careful because that is crazy to think of. I mean, a fan slid her finger with a kitchen knife. Like, well, not only that, but what are you doing with a machete right there? <laughs> Maybe this isn't so much a, a costume look. <laughs> I, I wish the hair was a little rattier in my opinion. I think that maybe that would have elevated it in my uh, in my view, but it was a bit sloppy for me. I mean, okay. I mean, okay, trash, trash. I I've seen you in my nightmares, and the look in your eye tells me that I want to get away this time. You are ripping at my peace of mind, and now nothing is safe. Mama. Trash Muffin. I actually really liked this look. I think, um, in the same regards of Antichrist, that just the way that the dress was distressed, like, you actually look like you just came back from killing some people. Um, I also like that your mask was like a ripped like teddy bear head. I like the detail of the mama on the apron. That was a nice touch. And you did. You just looked like a sociopath hungry for blood. And I personally loved it. Great job this week. Next queen. Bitch. It was beautiful. It was everything that I wanted in the look. But I, I just think we had a very different idea about this look. And... It was disturbing, and that, that was the challenge. It was a purge challenge. Enough said. Next queen, Mirage. So Mirage, I love your choker, or I, I love your hooker converse heels. I thought that was probably a highlight of the look. I love the nails as they remind me of the Red Queen. Again, your team really boxed in yourself with this theme of Alice Madness Returns to Video Game. And to stray away from it is to kind of go against your own theme. Now, the only thing that reminds me of the Alice Madness Returns version is the fact that you're using cards as your outfit and the color red. It's, besides that, it's your own interpretation. And I think the theme that you guys chose worked against you and Spjork in this case. Uh, it reminds me of or the Red Queen. Even when not comparing it to the video game, it, it's an okay look. Uh, you're pretty middle of the pack this week, which may be a hard fall from winning two weeks, but uh, it, it's 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 okay. It's okay in my eyes. Ouch! Uh, I like what you did with the poker cards and the crown and the waist and the claws, but the undergarment doesn't fit in well. It just sort of seems like this was the closest thing that matched. I do love the mask though, so the mask, the shoes, and the claws are the highlight for me. Okay, so Mirage, I love the nails, the mask is creepy, but the Red Queen, not so red. Not so queen. There's a missing element of elegance here. She kind of gave me prom without the queen. Uh, I didn't get the claws as a weapon, meaning like I didn't like automatically see that as like a purge thing. Like if this were like a mythical character from a video game come to life then it would be like oh, okay I see that but like if I was gonna see you walking down the street I just think girlfriend likes your long nails the makeup is 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 you know, I mean, look, you had two really high weeks. I think that says a lot. And, you know, just because this week wasn't... They're your personal best. It, it still was, was you know, something that you came up with with originality. Mm -hmm. um, I don't think that it worked in your favor, again, that your group really did box yourselves in because we can't help but compare. Uh, if, again, if your group had chosen Alice in Wonderland, that's different. That, that is different. Well, actually, I could kind of see like this being a working theme of like if you guys had chosen Alice in Wonderland prom night, oh. this this would have been a really good look for the Red Queen prom winning Wonderland. prom night, 
And like, yeah, like, yeah. what would Alice have looked like? Or what would have uh, the Mad Hatter, Hatter. looked like, at, you know, on prom night? So I, I think you guys could have gone a bit further rather than just saying, like, let me pick something that's already created and run with that idea. Like, I, Matt and I were kind of conversing about that. We saw a lot of the themes this week. And we thought, or at least I thought, that it would be more interesting if you guys had created your own theme versus, like... Followed oh, a specific already yeah. uh, set theme. Which, like, these themes, you, you were able to choose. We didn't choose them for yeah. you. So it kind of was like, oh, okay, so they're going with something that's that's pre-made. Yeah. Miss Mirage Manson with Queen of Hearts. Um, I feel like you were very middle of the pack for me. Uh, I loved what you did with the cards and I loved the mask before you took off the mask. That gave me very Queen of Hearts, but without the mask, and if we took away the cards, it would just be a snake print bodysuit. And I, I really didn't get the royalty of Queen of Hearts from this look, uh, but I could definitely see the time that was put into all these card accessories. Next queen, Izzy Stardust. Izzy. So Izzy, I put that, you are a banshee first of all, I should say that. Banshee, mystical, uh, mystical mythical creatures, uh, feminist killers. Miss Banshee. Miss Banshee. Miss Banshee. Um, you have lovely boots. The mask felt a bit generic but uh, I like that it's your face on it. Your, your makeup, your uh, alien makeup, I believe. And it feels a bit too costumey. It feels like I see this at Spirit Halloween, Ghoul Master, you know, uh, Night Creeper, just sort of generic trench coat person. I didn't really get Banshee from it. I love the weapon, and but the garment feels too simple and for what we've seen you in. The chains are the only thing that would tell me that you are a banshee. Other than that, I don't really know. What I wouldn't really think banshee. I would think reaper, which maybe is splitting hairs. But I mean, you chose the theme. Uh, and also, I don't know what the blue thread was on your nose. I don't really know what it was. I was a bit confused at that. But, and that's all I have to say. Yeah, and just in watching the footage over again, I gotta say, Miss Banshee. But I get total purge from this. Uh, for me, this met the challenge of like what you were gonna go purge in. I would not want to come across you on a dark street at night during the purge night. I feel like you're gonna fuck me up. And I kinda like it. But I'm getting more Winona Earp on purge night. I, I didn't get Banshe Banshee from this. But if you had told me like this was Winona Earp purging, I would've been like, yes, this is her! As a, a critique. No scream? I kind of expected maybe like a sound bite oh in your God, video of shadow. like a scream. Well, he's a cri uh, critic too, I guess. Yeah. But he doesn't like my critique. Um, but I kind of expected a scream because banshees are very audible, mythological creatures. You hear them before you see them. Um, right, and that's what it says right here in my notes. I don't see the banshee, but maybe that's because banshees are heard first. But otherwise, a beautiful work. Izzy Stardust with Banshee. Uh, I think you and your teammates kind of have the same problem where you're giving a, like a cool look, but it, it really doesn't fit the theme that you had given yourselves. Uh, you're a Banshee, and when I think of Banshee, I think of ethereal, I think of flowy, um, and you had all this like leather on. Um, I still think it was a really cool look. Um, I loved how you had the hooks. Um, I love the hat, I love the hair, I love the makeup. The makeup was amazing. I didn't understand that like string coming from your nose, but otherwise I think the look was phenomenal. I just think like the rest of your team, it just missed the mark slightly. So with that being said, Safe Girls, wonderful job. Uh, yes. We hope that some of the critiques that we've given you might at least give you some ideas because in the end, that's what it's really about. It's mm -hmm. not about you know, it's not about your idea. or anything like that. It's just, it's trying to get you to think outside of your own cranium, you know? Yeah. And we appreciate the fact that you're even willing to yeah. go ahead and put yourself up for... For a critique. That's a hard thing to do. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs>